Hello viewers, welcome to Scott UG. Um, today I want to show you how you can launch an EC2 as yes, that is EC2 instance on uh, on Amazon so that you can be able to use it for whatever services which you want. As well, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscription button over there. You will be able to get more and more of this video. As well, this video is meant for um this video is meant for uh, illustration purposes so i'm just going to illustrate the basics but not that i'll be able to configure it i'm not going to configure it to the to the advanced state so i'm just going to show the basics so that you can be able to create and use freely of whatever you want so one of the first step you need to take is to consider the location of the server which you're going to consider so after you log into your console the next thing you do is to look for where you can see the rock and so that's where you see it is on always on the tape on the top right corner of the of the browser or of the page so here just because on this page we on this channel we use uh, an android phone so i'm just going to sample where you're going to see it from so right now i'm going to launch a server located in cape town but uh, there are many areas which you can consider there as you can see them there is Virginia, there is a uh, spacing on wherever you are. So if you need a server onto my network as well, you can get a server from me at a discounted price. You can be able to inbox me and you can talk about it. So let's do it. And um, what you need to do is to come here. So there are many ways you can come over here, come over there and select what we call EC2. So let me launch so after me i've selected the location which is uh, cape town that means the ip i'm going to get on this instance is going to be located in cape town so mark that so if you want a server you have to mark that you have to create so here I've already server running and it's located uh located in uh in cape town it's running but uh, I, need, uh, I need to launch a new one hold on so since i'm already having a server running in that area i want to test another area so let's choose another area by pressing where you to press i told you and then let's select which area here mm. how about if we try bahrain bahrain okay i'm enabling that location because it's not yet but so however i also tell you that uh, on amazon uh, the root the root by default is deactivated or is inactive so all you need to do is to is for you to enable it okay so just know that so in my one of my videos i'll show you how you can turn root access either by use of a script or by using the manual settings so we are done with that. So keep note of that as well. So let's select our preferred area where we want to launch the server. So let's select a specific area here. Maybe um, how about if we try to use uh, uh, Singapore? I think let's select like Singapore. So you're going to launch an EC2 instance located in Singapore. That is the IP you get should be Singapore based. So that's what we are gonna do. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. If you miss, if I miss out something, don't forget to leave it and comment below. How about to create like? How about to answer answer it? So you just come over here. You just come away and select is okay. We're selecting as well, you just leave it road. So I'm um, sorry, my kind of slow, but uh, let's just take step by step set uh, so you can be able to grasp this. You can be able to get the end of it, okay. Mm -hmm. 
we don't have any running here so oh, this one was stopped okay let's launch a new one let's just launch a new one launch instance okay we just need to have to we just need to take things slow and easy so this is we are using uh, now all you need to do here is to select which image you, which you want so for the purpose of this we are going to use ubuntu and uh, ubuntu what we mean here we are going to use uh, the ubuntu steam okay let's see again Mm. Ubuntu. Yeah, let's select Ubuntu 18. So depending on what you want, you can select your can is what select what you want. Okay. Now for here you can select if um if you, you can you can select that general purpose our next step to do is to our next step is to do is to select next configure instance okay well, what you need to do here is that uh, you don't temper with anything here if you if you if you don't uh, if you don't know what you're doing there so here we can select uh, the size to 30 you can put in a size you want but not more than 30 so long as you a free tire user i hope i'm able to explain that more if uh, if all goes well so let's go to add tags so for this one you can leave it as it is so with here you select all traffic so this is a very risky part this is a very risky part but it's worth it taking yeah so uh -huh. yeah. so after so here this is where you can see which kind of which kind of traffic anywhere which 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 kind of um uh which kind of uh traffic or which kind of ip should go through and which kind of traffic users can manage okay any traffic go through this since you've tested between that range of zero to six thousand sixty five thousand five hundred something so you keep note of that however if you select other posts or udp or what as well that can also work so for the purpose of this i've set that but uh keep note of that that uh, it's worth it trying yeah so since here we are just illustrating I'm just showing you what to do. So you click launch things. Okay, here we are trying to review what we have selected. Yeah, you check and see if what you want is what has been done here. Now, next step is for you to say now this is a very crucial part here because this is what I was telling you that Amazon by default Amazon deactivated root login and uh, Amazon since it deactivated root login because root login most times it requires a password okay however the case could be but deactivated loot login so what you need to do here is to create a, new, a key or password login okay the thing is amazon deactivated password login by default amazon instances what you need to do here is to use a key at first but however you can configure the settings so that you can be able to use loot login so you can do that via the manual settings in your server that is in linux or you can use a script so whichever way you want to take still it's also it's also cool for you so now what you need to do is to create a new pen and we shall name this one subscribe subscribe and so okay that if you want a vps you can inbox me or can show you how you can 
do it I have some for sale as well i can manage for you if you want now all you need to do is to download that key pair so if you download if you don't download that key pair you might not you will not be able to access your your server which you created okay so we are this this is running so now what you need to do is view the instance and And we are going to log in. We are going to log in using um, using this SSH. So let's do it. Now, what I need to get here is to get the IP address of this of this instance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all I need to do is to tap on the instance and I get its public IP form, which is here. Okay. The next step for you is to go to this SSH and then you click many connections and then add a connection you paste the ip there let's name let's name this uh ec2 mm -hmm. okay let's do then two 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 okay let's use uh, maturity group and here can we call it ec2 still the username is ubuntu or is and uh, because by default the root user is deactivated and uh, let's use uh, a key here so you import and then you select the key which you made and then you click then you take this and then, sorry. then you see to you launch it click accept well there we are we have launched our ec2 server which is already running so for you to execute since by default the root user is deactivated here now what you need to do to execute a command here with the with the root 2 privileges all you need to do is to use sudo sudo then sudo soon or you have to add sudo on every command which one but for me the default way they always uh, say that uh, i get this i just launch into that uh, sudo shell uh, then i can be able to uh, update and do whatever all i want so i hope you guys have got uh, what i'm trying to explain here and uh, we try we meet in another video jabless